Hey guys, and welcome back to Avorian, the spaceship building, galaxy exploring, resource trading, gun gun pew pewing game of experience and wonder. My name is Twitchy, and last time, last time we got absolutely pwned. Our entire fleet entire fleet wiped out by the scientist and whilst I was going around putting back my fleet from that uh, we are uh, we managed to get shunted back all the way back to the beginning of the game we need to make our way back up over here but whilst putting my fleet back together I got into the diplomat and noticed there's a valuable object there's a valuable object in here so let's go and have a look around also have you noticed that the the shadows well not shadows the highlights let's let's kind of move over here the reflections the light reflections have got look, look at these I swear they've done given them an upgrade that's that's really nice so I am guessing that valuable objects are generally kept in the asteroid belt this this seems this seems natural to me so let's go and have a, a look around see if we can't find a large asteroid for instance what about this little cluster over there maybe that's them maybe not my plan today of course is to do up the fleet and get on get our uh, get our attack on the scientist I'm fairly sure I'm fairly sure we can take it down we got lots of information about how the weapons that they use are not uh, are useless are not effective against stone so maybe maybe we need to cover our ships in stone oh 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 let a square appear turns out it was a secret stash all right beautiful beautiful as soon as we can slow the diplomat down i am about it no merchant has room for luxury food oh no oh wow that's that's fine we'll just wait for sir carry had to move again because once again we don't have a way of skipping him past that order okay at what point do i just kind of there we go with it within 200 meters let's hack that Bam, I got a whole bunch of monies. Oh, and I've got a hyperspace interrupter, engine upgrade, and chain gun turret. Ooh, nice. It still says there's a valuable object. Do I wipe that out? Does that does that now stop that being a thing? No, there's another one. There's another one out here somewhere. I bet that's it. I bet that's it. Move grid plane has come up. Oh, they're almost definitely. Look at it. That's That's got to be the one, right? Oh, yeah. Look at this beast. It is huge, huge. Having trouble with the lighting. It is so large. All right. How, how close do we need to get in? Within 200 meters, I do believe. Yeah, look at that. Beautiful. Hey, I'd like to claim that asteroid. Thanks very much. This is now mine, right? I think we're going to keep hold of it. Right in the middle of this, uh, this crew here. They are already my alliance members so i can't make them any better any more friendly with me look we got we got some unknown hidden mass sectors around here wow okay we're gonna take the lady and the grandest entrance and we're gonna move them up towards i, I wonder which one's got the smallest jump we're gonna have to figure out which one we need to upgrade there but move them up towards the center of the galaxy again Okay, we're in striking distance of my mining vessel, but I noticed there's a lot of places around that are not connected to the gate network here. So I want to kind of explore that out before we get deeper to the actual barrier. As you can see, we're, we are close, close, close. And with the diplomat gone, that really only leaves me one more thing. Lady, why haven't you traveled? La lady, why? Well, anyway, it's, let's just pretend that she went. That only really leaves me one more thing to do. You know, I'm only going to send the lady a little less distant and then start traveling via the gate network that way. But anyway, I, I said we have something to do. I'm going to press F. I'm going to come into the repair dock. I am going to grab the craft. Hey, how are you doing? We still don't have a name for this ship. Uh, I'm going to grab a re uh, reconstruct token whilst it's relatively cheap because I want you to sit back, relax and enjoy as we give this ship a bit of an overhaul. Voice over me thinks I was watching far too much Coralis at that point. Anyway, the first thing I'm going to do on an overhaul is just steal any of the shapes that I think are useful. It takes a, a, a bit of time and a bit of tedium to put together some pretty good awesome shapes on this game. So if you can steal them from the random gen, then surely that is a thing you should do. I saved them in my templates folder. It's a, a, an unsung hero of this game, actually, their little templates folder there. It's, a, it's pretty cool. And then I move on to the main hammerhead structure that we've got here. I want this to be kind of the main feature of the craft up front and impressive i want to have this great big structure that we're going to keep our hangar inside of that's right this is where we're going to spew out all sorts of fighters but i'm already running into problems when you scale up entire shapes that, that's right all the individual components have all sorts of weird and funny uh, numbers associated with them decimals running into the seven or eight numbers of decimal places it is quite extreme i put the front on the on 
on on the front there. Yeah, look at that beautiful. I think it looks really good as some sort of like head slash prow feature. Uh, yeah, that was, that was strong. Now I'm um, coming to these little triangular bits on the side here. You can see that they are a rectangle with a triangle on top, and I was having trouble trying to decide what to put in the middle of those. Uh, it turns out that I went with generators, but I think actually post me thinks that that would have been a much better place for some uh, gyros. Now I'm just going to try and uh, rearrange the structure around a little bit more. I've got another shape that I want to steal here. It's mainly con communications towers, but I've decided that I, as much as I do like the triple stack affair that's going on with this, so this is going to be, so that's more going to be something that we aspire to. We're going to start off with a linear shape, taking those three stacks and lining them up in a row, and then doing much like I did with the lady, an overhaul where I just kind of rebuild each of those individual components, make them look a bit more my style and a bit more useful. I did, spoilers, lose my way a little bit towards the end of this ship, but I, I've not actually finished it yet. Voice over me letting you in on a bit of production secrets here. So I might go back now that I've seen the issues that I've seen uh, post post-production, no we're still in production, but you know, post-time-lapse and go and fix those. After working on those cargo pods there, I decided it's time to move on to a hyperspace core. I've got quite used to having the ships being able to jump a vast number of sectors and I'd really feel quite crippled if I didn't carry on building huge hyperspace cores. Now this might be one of the segments where I feel like really I could have done a little bit better. I do manage to save it a little bit just towards the end, but at the moment we've just got a great big block and I'm not feeling 100% about that, but I go over to the stack of stuff that we've got over here. First thing, of course, I'm going to do is move the, 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 the back section, if you will, for no other reason than it's on top of everything else. Trying to line up stuff is also very awkward at this point in the game. I don't know why, but it just it doesn't want to find its perfect center point. Whenever I try and take a few moments to do so, even with the mirrors on, it's really hard to find that perfect center point. All right, you got me. I ran out of material. I need to go and well, I need to just wait. I need to wait. Look, we're getting uh, some more of the yellow stuff now. That's not what I want though. I want the blue stuff. I kind of like the shape I've been ended up with here. This bit on the back, I want to scale up, and these two sort of nacelle things, I want to actually uh, copy out four times around the outside, but on general, this is the shape we're going to end up with. As soon as we end up with more material, I'll scale that up, obviously, as I say. But for now, I'm going to be making my plodding slow way down that way. How far can I jump now? Ah, oh, beautiful. I say my plodding slow way, but we're, we're going to jump over there pretty quickly, I do believe. By the time I got there, I of course had a whole bunch more material, so I jumped straight into the build and start thinking about how I was going to scale up this back edge here. But you remember I was just saying something about how I'm having trouble lining things up with the center line. Here is the prime example. Even with the mirror on and using that to try and line up the edges of the wireframe model that we can see here, I still can't find the middle. Look at how precise I'm being and it still does not work. I'm not sure exactly what's going down. I've got a feeling it's something to do with the weird scaling that's going on where I've been making a, a, a general structure that I like the look of and then scaling that structure up and down as opposed to the individual blocks. Oh, it's uh, crazy fun times in the build here. But I've also noticed that we have not got the greatest of your potential. So I need to uh, go around and put a whole bunch of thrusters on the front here just so we can turn. Uh, for some reason, I picked up the edge turret blocks here. I, I totally meant to just get some like uh, armor or something like that just to smooth things off a little bit, but it didn't, didn't go that well. And right now I'm trying to find some way to put some thrusters on the underside because whilst we have a, indeed addressed the your issue we still have a bit of a pitch authority issue if you have a look over on my stats you can see well now now in fact they're all blue but we were having a bit of a problem with pitch i'm also going to replace these uh these turret mounts on the back with thrusters because i'm all about maneuverability turrets can literally go anywhere we want them to go i'm uh, well i do know why people would use the turret bases so you can uh, decorate your own turrets and make them look how you want you can kind of build them in the same way that you would a ship. Uh, I suppose we'll have to explore that in a little bit because we've not actually done that at all. Anyway, I've stored the back of the ship up onto the front of the ship. Yeah, that, that's a bit weird, isn't it? But the, the unmodified back I've got and put onto the front of the ship so I can then
then take away the next module and start working on it. And that next module is indeed the car... Uh, not the cargo, no, it is indeed the crew quarters. They, they both begin with C, that's good enough, right? I decided that it's about time that we started expanding out from this tiny little thin rod of a ship design that we have here. I'm not going to go super overboard right now. Uh, I'm going to go lean on the design that was there already and make a sort of semi-cylinder. I uh, started with a plus shape of the crew quarters and then filled it in with uh, little bits of armor and stuff but I had a little bit of a gap going around the top edge as you can see I've now filled that with glow uh, that gap again coming from weird scalings where I was uh, taking a, a large shape that is beveled edge there and scaling that up as a piece rather than scaling the individual bits taking a cue from the devs here I think it's a really nice thing to put down a, a slab of glow block and then put any of your extraneous parts down on top of that here I've gone ahead and done the inertia dampener because you know that's a block you don't need too much of so we've gone ahead and slapped that there then just using the uh, the edges you know fun with corners going around and trying to make sure everything fits in a place looks like a cohesive unit of course once again got that tiny little gap where we've got the the difference between the scaled piece and the, uh, the integer sized blocks if you will okay taking out the from, from that little templates folder like I was saying we've gonna taken this little bevel piece out so that we can try and get back to some sort of sensible scaling unit. I've just put this down the, shot, the size that it is, and if you look really, really, really carefully, you can see that it doesn't perfectly match up with the crew quarters block there, but I'm, I'm happy with it. It's fine. But the one thing that I'm not 100% happy with, I've got to say, is this generator block that I've put down. This is definitely one that we're going to be coming back to and putting down some more uh, some more details. I like the general idea of it. It's uh, like two toroidal rings that have been joined together because you know that's where you get most of your power from is from like magnetic toroidal rings right surely surely that's a thing well anyway I've noticed that I've run out of material again and we're going to slap the uh, the, the un, uh, unedited pieces back on the back of the ship and fly around until we get some more materials and indeed the more materials flow in pretty quickly quick enough for me to go okay it's time to think about upgrading this little engine pod unit that's on the uh, on the original vessel uh, I'd start by trying to see if we can just slap some engine on the side of the generator I'm like I already don't like how blocky it is let's not let's not go ahead and make it more blocky so I stick some little pylons on the side make my engines into those like nice cross shaped uh, designs that people have and then taking down the rest of that little pod that was the original unedited piece I see that there were cargo bays in there so I'm like okay let's build ourselves a cargo array I kind of feel like I would have been done better if I'd gone back to the front of the ship and picked up the cargo arrays from there and then used those rather than these great big blocks but mostly right now I am just blocking out space everything that we've got here can be come back and be tweaked get down a whole bunch of details uh, and with the cargo section done as I think I'm trying to figure out how I can bring the two sections back together uh, obviously there is a way to be done with the corners here but I just kind of want to build uh, something to go into and I start with this great big slap of a shield generator I'm like nah, maybe it's a little bit wide let's try and bring it down again because we're going to try and follow the shape of the piece that we just destroyed, right? So that's kind of a bit of a, a weird sort of circular piece. So let's go ahead and build something like that. I then go and put a, a massive, massive slab of inertial dampeners down. Maybe a little too much. I maybe want to replace that with something else. Uh, more, more generators are always useful, right? I always think more generators are always uh, useful. Uh, and then go ahead and just kind of make this look a bit more cohesive with the rest of the ship. Give it a bit of a beveled edge. Put down some intense integrity field generators because it turned out we didn't have any of those and they were the perfect thing to just kind of fill in that space there this edge armor i start off making it an integer, integer shape that doesn't go down beyond the the space that it was uh, because you can either pick right you can either go further than the space allows or less distance than the space allows when you're trying to put a round number piece onto an awkward shaped gap um, but yeah i end up going with uh, with the slightly over and it kind of like overlays all the edges and the corners and kind of tidies itself up a little bit. Moving on to the rear section of the craft, I'm fairly sure I want to preserve this little comms section that we've got on the back here, so I'm going to go ahead and try and do that. Trying to get a perfectly aligned placement. Turns out that's not actually where I want it. The ship is kind of a bit bottom heavy, so I put it down a little bit lower and it fits just a little bit better in the overall scheme of things. Still having a trinium problem, so I go and lay out the nacelle structure and I go and make a uh, 
a, 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 an engine mount that's all, mostly made out of titanium. To my ever-living embarrassment, I'm having to go down to starter materials. Looking to upgrade as soon as possible, of course. One thing that I do have to say is by the time we got to the end of this build process, everything did line up with the center line. So one of my major objectives for this build has very much been achieved. Yeah. So I'm headed to a station to get all of the mechanics and engineers that I'm after. And the, and the space station that happens to have everything that I am after also happens to be a fighter factory. So I think we're going to have to have a little play with this. Let's first get the crew that we need. Priorities after all. Well, let's build a fighter. I don't know. What have we got here? Do I want to use something that comes from my exotic range? I don't know. Maybe, maybe. Could with the railgun fighters? Are they a thing? Can we do something with that? I've got a feeling they'd be a little bit limited. I'm not sure. Salvaging time. It seems like I might want to go give them to someone else. How about some triple... Oh, no, 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 defend... Oh, I saw chain gun turret. I was like, yes. You know, all of these are pretty useless. i got a bolter turret. Uh, let, let's look at the next one. Cannon turret. Exceptional. Zenoan? Is that how we're pronouncing that? Zenoan? Zenoan? I, I don't know. I don't know. Why are all my best ones defense turrets? What, what's up with that? Okay, I switched to DPS per slot because, you know, that, that's actually the logical way you should probably be sorting these out. We've got a choice of laser plasma tesla or chain gun what a selection i think we're just gonna go for the top one and work our way through right and then oh what what, what are we gonna get our ship to look like i suppose we could just make anything we want in creative and then uh, bring it on over but let's uh, let's make them look like the grandest entrance M mark two mark one let's go with the mark two. Oh, this is this isn't even the most recent one shall we hold up i mean it is just following me Hey there, buddy. How you doing? Let's save you. Mach 3. Now <laughs> look, the, sh the ship's bigger than the station. Ah, oh, that's great. That's great. Right, where were we? Laser turret. Grandest entrance, Mark 3. We've got 20 points to spend. What do we want to put them in? Durability? Maneuverability? Speed? I'm thinking durability and speed seems like the places we want to be putting them. Do we have 10 of each? Let's, let's just go for a nice, well-balanced craft. Do we want to go fast? No, we want them to be around me, so... I, I, I can see arguments on both sides. Okay, all right, yeah, let's let's try that. Ah, oh, I cleared it by opening and closing a, a thing to see what it did. Oh, no. Small set, that's nothing to worry about. Let's go. No free squadron to play. Ah, I, know, I know this, I know this. New squad, yeah. Are these, are these, these got to be, oh, I mean, like, red squadron? Let's do it. I nearly went with alpha squadron, but we're like, we've had them so often. All right, I put I put a few points into speed as well. Let, let's see that. Whoa. Oh, that put the price up a bit. Is speed really important? I, I, I might suggest that it is, given how much it took to do it. Wow. Okay, let's have a look inside our own ship now. Um, oh, wait. I've got, yeah, of course I don't have a blueprint. We've got, we've got the actual fighter here. I assume we just turn this straight into a blueprint and we will make this over time, right? It's going to be like, oh, are you sure you want to wipe this guy out? This will destroy fire and turn into a blueprint. Okay, uh, and now let's see how absolutely... Uh, no, we'll just enable production. How terrible is this? 14 hours. I, th I think I might need some production blocks. 14 minutes. Much, much better, much better. It just cost me all of my cargo space. Oh no, I think the ship design has done quite well. I've got a feeling, you see those three flat bits here? I've got a feeling we're going to end up sticking other bits on top of them. Get okay, back to that triple decker design situation here. I've got some spaces here for some gyro arrays. I could probably put them in very, very shortly. But I think it's time we went and tested this ship's capabilities. I've gone with three big capital ship uh, guns up at the front. These are three slots each, maybe more, maybe even like four or five. Let's go and have a look. So the middle one's got four slots. The one on the, the, the ship right is four slots, and the one on ship left is also four slots. These are big, chunky weapons, but the problem is, the problem is they take they take forever to like try and target in the same direction as I'm looking. And, boom, and then and then do you see the, do you see those lines at the front there? Recharging. I can fire a few of them, but a lot of them, if they're in the orange, will not fire. So I am definitely a stand back and let the fighters, my escort, and then my cannons do the work for me. 
Oh yeah, some systems would probably work as well, right? Let's put this other other Zotan one here. That means we don't need any pilots, gunners, or miners. That seems pretty powerful, if you ask me. We got that from the AI. That's pretty cool. And uh, now I think we just want turrets. Anybody has any other ideas for what I should be putting on here? Let me know. But I think just turrets is a strong, strong choice. I think maybe maybe a generator upgrade wouldn't go amiss as well. Oh man, the ship's. The ship's not actually as big as we need it to be. We still need some more processing power. I'm sure we'll get that in the upgrades. Okay, there's a selection of upgrades. I've left one blank because you never know if I've got it wrong, right? <laughs> now the question is, do I continue on with my campaign of huge weapons or do I put some small ones down so that we can take out the small things around us? I don't know, it's it, choices, my friends, choices. I think I'm gonna go strong on the big weapons, yeah. Okay, two more weapons have gone down. Uh, a cannon turret and a railgun. Does the railgun only fire forwards? Maybe. <laughs> How is my yaw and pitch still so terrible? Okay, let's, uh, let, let's, let's think about this. We can definitely put a strip of thruster along the bottom here. Oh, another thing I wanted to do. So I just merged those thruster blocks together. I had to build it out of two parts because of the way the bottom was arranged. But if I just kind of select the entire... Ooh. Oh, there might be a problem here. But if I just go and select the entire ship and go, well, oh, look at all these parts that got put together. 721 to 692. That's 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 pretty sick. Also, we 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 quite badly need an integrity field generator here. How do we fit it in naturally? What's, what 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 are these guys? All cargo bay. I mean, are we going to we going to sacrifice our cargo bay again? So all these empty turret bases really need to be something a little bit more useful. What could be more useful than thrusters? Yeah, beautiful. I, sp I suppose I suppose these wouldn't be the bad place to actually put the integrity field dampeners. Uh, <laughs> field generators, sorry, I read the inertial dampeners at the same time there, lol. Good, not great. There we go, much better. As you can see from the overlay of this sector here, we got chased out of here when we were mining up enough materials to build this ship. Oh, we still need to work on the yore and stuff of this guy, don't we? It's just a little bit less than I would like. Uh, that's fine because that whole flat area in the middle, I think really needs a bit of an overhaul. Not least of which we could stretch those sort of side wing engines out and make them bigger and we can give them bigger supports on the actual main structure and uh, oh, that would be so much better. Also maybe then put in a whole bunch of uh, gyros and thrusters yeah it's still carnage over here still absolute carnage do we wait for them to come to me that might be the way look th those guys are just absolutely laying in i didn't realize that we had a valuable object here at the top okay that that's cool that's cool so this uh, 63 kilometer is the closest yeah looks like it can we uh i don't know just fire some shots off let let them know that we are here is that is that a thing we can do uh doesn't look like they're interesting now are my peeps following me we got we got two of them that that's all of them in fact that is all of them beautiful beautiful uh still looking like maybe we're just going into a, a serious problem there look you can see we were doing some work over here hmm i need to need to pick those up okay that's a little bit dangerous for me i think we're gonna go out and around the asteroids and then we'll come back oh look at that giant one down there look look at him look at him he's the one that we're being told about okay i'm not gonna get it right now but it is the way. Oh man, no, 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 the, the home forces are dealing with it whilst I turned around. It, okay, is you the guy that was giving us some big troubles? No, it was merely that we were getting overwhelmed with the numbers. Well, fair enough. I guess this means we've only got one way to try and summon a tough fight. My aim is to summon the AI through a number of small jumps, but I'm also heading towards a distress signal because they're all so fun, right? Nice planet, no AI. Looks like we're jumping through to it and then we're gonna get it to the distress signal. Pow, ha ha ha, fake distress signal worked, you're as good as dead. I mean, like, there are a lot of them that we, we could very well be. Okay, left shift one opens up these guys, and what is the button to, uh, uh A, A would be the one to go. We've got two guys, wish them luck. Uh, they, they probably are gonna need it. This guy just seems to be walking at me. Let's see if we can't just, these, these guns, they be slow, yo. They be slow. Let's get out, turn around. Where's my... Cr oh, man. we got to take this guy down, like, now, right? That's that's the way that's going to have to work. If we don't get... Oh, man. The, the yaw on this is a... 
pitiful, pitiful. I need, I need to work on that quite a lot. Get my get my front end round. Get some big shots. I'm go, I'm going to shoot the diplomat at this rate, aren't I? Uh, let's see if we can't something like that. That should be cool. Bam! Did, did, did that work? Hey, Mr. Diplomat. Uh, you guys don't seem to be fighting for your own lives as if you're in peril, but you, you are. Trust me, you you are. Um, let's uh, let's try and get down. This is just this is <laughs> slow and awkward. That's that's my thought process so far on this. Ah, I really thought that was going to be it. The the diplomat definitely having a little bit of a bad time here. Let's just open fire on whatever we can point at. Some, something like that. Okay, that that was good. That was a big hit pretty quickly. Let's see if we can do the same for this guy over here. I doubt it. My shields are holding though, so this is good. The diplomat might need to have a little bit of a rework again get get it um okay that was that was a tail end of a terrible shot let's uh, let's keep moving i'm assuming that my 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 uh, fighters are dead i mean that's that's the way that's going to be working, right? This guy doesn't look like he's moving all that much. Let's see if we can't go in and get him. Why is this spinning so far out of control compared to what I want it to do? I don't know. Okay, that... Oh, he's moving. He's moving. I tried to, to lead, but it's not going to work so much. The Diplomat is very much down very shortly, right? Very much down very shortly. I'm not sure what will happen if they all turn on me at once. Can we can we turn on this guy? It looks like he needs to... I can't, I can't see around my ship can't see around my own ship that's a bit rubbish let's uh, rework that camera and then just pummel this guy because he's the one who needs the pummeling uh the diplomat definitely showing signs of wear okay that that's kind of all right though that's cut oh that, that's everyone down at once am i also about to die what's my shield doing if i could just take this die guy down that would be pretty good i i feel like i've got some some small troubles here um why can't i fire my weapons at and there's a bit of bit of a bit of a, an arc of fire issue there let's just kind of get out the way uh, maybe maybe those small guns that i was talking about might be a winner at some point i don't know do we do the classic tactic of uh, getting some distance on them turning around and uh, taking on the ones that come from the that come for us the quickest right that that's kind of an idea right Let, let's get let's get some let's get some distance going get some distance going i'm gonna need it to be able to turn around any Anyway, okay, the one that's closest to us is going to have the most speed and thus will be the one that we shoot at first. I've got a feeling I've given them too long to uh, to regen their shields and stuff. That's that's probably a problem that we've got to be facing. Um, so, a little disappointed with how a fighter of yours has been destroyed. Oh no, I, I guess that's going to be a big problem anyway. Uh, let's try and face this guy down if we can. I'm not sure what the best camera angle is for this particular, there goes another one, this particular mode of combat. Those torpedoes sure are coming fast. I don't, I don't want to actually focus on those. That's the problem. I want to focus on the people. I'm just going to let my, my, wow, I don't know, my bulk deal with it. Can, can we fire here? Thanks. Going pretty well. I don't think it's going to go well enough, though. My my stopping distance is horrific. Um, am, am I able just to pummel my way through this? I I don't know if I've got the the whole destroying capabilities. Uh, I mean, I'm doing okay. It's it's not great, but okay. Now we're going to move on again. Grab some stuff on the way past. Tasty, tasty. Uh, and then go off in this direction. Yes, totally. <laughs> Okay, I believe I've gone and got a bit too much distance on these guys, but now that means I can turn around and face this guy here, who seems to be the one that I really want to take out. He's taken a lot of damage on his hull and a lot of damage on his shield, so that kind of strikes me as the best way to go. I'm just going to let my inertial dampeners bring me to a halt here, because every time that I push forwards, I've got a feeling the inertial dampeners kind of turn down a little bit, so they're not fighting with my engines. It would make sense, right? But it's, uh, it's, it's not... It's not wonders okay that's not great the fact that those guys over there are now closer to me uh we'll, we'll just have to have to go for it and see what happens right i mean that's that's what this is all about going for it and seeing what happens so so far i feel like this is actually quite a capable vest vessel yes um whether it is incredibly capable can we move that down just a little bit more like that that 
that that looks like it should be good okay i'm not not interested i'm not interested i'm gonna let the the bulk of my being uh just accept that i'm hoping that i could just kind of like do do them a tiny damage um so that i can stop his shields generating right but it's hard to try and figure out where he is and where uh he's going to be that's that's the major one is where is he going to be um well, relative to me, that was a good one. That was, that was a cracking shot. And now he's moved. All right, that's uh, that's not overly helpful, mate. Uh, I, I guess that's understandable. I would also like to move if I'm being shot at, but not quite what I wanted. Uh, okay, let's try. I mean, is he, is he legit just running away? It looks like he might be. I assume he's coming round for another run at me. Uh, that There's no way that I'm going to hit with any of those not a chance uh, he kind of missed he kind of missed i definitely want to chase him down because he's the one that's taking damage right there I, I, I think i'm correct in this idea of uh, strategy here B bounce off his face why not i mean either works either works uh, keep going uh, just whatever we've got we're gonna have to give it to him okay one more one more one more don't go out of oh we've got we've got too far we've got too far uh, keep bouncing him like is that enough to kill him that wasn't enough to kill him that, that's that's a shame that would have been great okay we've got we've got some green markers but it doesn't look like it wants to work they're like no 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 way outside our range of field thanks though thanks okay can we bring it around a little bit better uh no yes okay that's that's good that's that's good let's let's get on out of here a bit further i'm not sure who's the actual hard guy here i'm not sure if there is one or whether we're all down to to small fry now it's uh it's a little bit awkward just to shoot them to be honest a little bit awkward just to shoot them take down a guy just called pyra that would be great all right mate come on come on let's do it i'm just gonna take a few shots to the face it should be all right i've got quite the shield i'm hoping i outmatch him ah, in terms of most weaponry uh he he's trying to lure me back he's, he's got he's got strats he's got strats oh no Oh, and in amongst all this, the lady is under attack, and no, I don't think I can actually help her over there. She, she's gonna just have to fight the valiant fight and then get on out if she can. Uh, quickly, well, I mean, I guess not then. Okay, Savage Disruptor is next. They all seem to be pretty separated from each other. I gotta wonder. No, I mean, I can still see his engines on the uh, on the screen to the bottom right here. So I'm wondering why he's not come after me. Maybe he's scared. I, I, I would be. I would be. Particularly scared of these Zotani thing they're coming in. Uh, that that's gonna be an interesting. Well, I came in too hot. I came in too hot. I can't turn around to have him. Uh, how are these guys doing? They're mostly all right. You. you you, you there let's let's try and take you out first shall we I, I feel like i'm not gonna be able to get my weapons around in time wow wow that that really you can see the red dots trying like it's just it's just not getting there just not getting there definitely a turning circle issue here uh okay have, have we got him now have we got him i don't know he seems to be headed away from me and that's always a good sign uh let's just keep firing let's try and catch up a little bit actually if we can That'd be great. Okay, they're doing okay. Not not wonders, but doing okay. Trying to lead him is actually very, very awkward in this game. Oh no, he's going behind me. My one weakness. <laughs> Okay, let's see if we can't catch up. They're gonna, they're gonna get my kill. The Zotan are gonna get my kill. Well, it's, it's feeling a little attrition-y, and I've got to be honest, with all the guys that are warping in all the time, I don't think we're gonna be able to finish this up. It's not like these guys are just calling back up either. It's full on, like, there's some Zotan fighting these guys because they're new. I mean, we could, we could back off and let them fight, but uh, I feel like we're a bit of a stalemate. I'm not taking that much damage, and especially not enough to kill me, uh, quick uh, too fast before i can run away but the rest of my fleet definitely oh, he's, he's gone in, he's gone in for my kill look at that i was just hassling him and he's like yeah 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 let me go finish this off so anyway i think we i think it's time for some regroup how do how do i get my squadron back that ah, return there we go they're, they're gonna be miles away though right let's let's find a quiet spot in the middle of nowhere i mean maybe the green squares are coming at me who knows 
All right, I'm trying to do a drive-by pickup here. I have no idea if it's going to work. I've, I've got a feeling I'm just going to cause some aggro, but let's let's give it a go. Come on, guys, get in. I've, I've asked for you to get in. Return is the order. Let's go, go, go. This guy might might want to just go away. <laughs> okay, here they go. Here they go. Are they, get, are they just diving in? It's one in, two. What about the other guy? Okay, last guy going in. It's good as well because I'm not sure how much more my uh, my shield could take. Watch him chase me to the empty sector. Or do you reckon through a gate and safe for chasing? Okay, we're gonna go back and try this again, but I've been flying around my little fleet here and I've been looking at the lady and I've been like, ah, oh, you're just like, you're, you're very cute, but I don't I don't feel like you're gonna be, uh, be worthy of this next battle coming up. I've been waiting for a little while so that we have enough goods to be able to do the 150%, 28, 31, beautiful. Oh, now of course I've gotta put all the uh, turrets back on. But another thing I want to do quickly just before that, hopefully we're going to have enough trinium to do so. I'm not uh, massively hopeful, but I will find out. No, we don't have enough trinium. I was going to put some hangers in there, maybe grab some fires off of the big, big boy over here, but no. Okay, so she's bigger. She's bigger. Okay, with the lady beefed up just a little bit, let's turn this ship round. Oh, I still need to put more your control on it. I have been beefing it up just a little bit, even put some extra gyros and stuff on the back here. That purple strip is gyros, but it just... Ah, uh, we need more. Always more. Ah, uh, look, they're still here. Beautiful, beautiful. Let's see how we go with a different weapon loadout. Hello, how are you? You're just, like, ripping past. How dare you, sir? How dare you? Actually, he's... Doesn't, doesn't seem all that interested, which I find a little bit rude, if I'm to be honest, a little bit rude. All right, I wonder how this is going to go. If I could grab their attention, that would be a lot better. There we go. So, making hits, getting attention. Oh, this is going so much better. Oh, they brought some friends along and the uh, grandest entrance might have had it. But all in all, the rest of us are doing quite well. Going quite well toe-to-toe -to -toe as well. I, th I think this might be the winning design. I'll tell you what would help. Uh, defend. Yes, there we go. <laughs> Well, look at them there. Oh, that's that's crazy. That is crazy. Oh, the diplomat has been fighting the valiant fight out here on his own against three of these guys. I think that's a win for the diplomat. He's definitely been uh, been a, a, a very good design. You know, he's been strong, sturdy, stoic. Oh man, more keep more keep spawning in. I'm sh I'm sure more keep spawning in. Oh, it's Zotan. Yes, yes, I heard they were coming. Oh, the diplomat. Why are they all picking on the diplomat? What's up with that? What is up with that? All right, this guy here. I, I mean, like, let's just keep tapping R until we figure out which one's the closest. I mean, this seems to be the one that the diplomat is also having a pop at, so it'd be good to back him up, I believe. I think that's the way that it works. I kind of wish that my uh, my laser and my projectiles were uh, wanting the same place to point at, but I, I guess that's not how physics works. So I will let them off of that one. Got to slow this down. Oh, don't don't shoot at the diplomat. That's a very bad plan there. Well, the diplomat's still going at it despite being very low on health. I kind of kind of wish he'd run away, to be honest with you. But I've got to got to admire the tenacity. Okay, so we're able to keep ahead of the teleporting in bad guys this time, so that's definitely better than last time. How does it How does it do that? Every now and then my mouse will end up on the chat window somehow, and it's just like, oh, I'm going to take you to this sector over there. But I think with that... I should probably tell you that I think it's about time that we uh, we uh, got rid of the grandest entrance. Thinking about it, he he is a fighter design. I think we can all be a, uh, all be agreed with that. That that actually he is now a fighter design, and we need another design for a large carrier vessel to come along with us. And with that, I'm going to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure, ladies and gentlemen. I will see you guys next time where we're going to work on a ship that can go build build beat the scientist. That's that's what I want to do. I want to take out the scientist but I needed to get some sort of ship with a hangar together. Uh, maybe as a little side quest, we'll be getting our mining fighters together as well. But I'll see you then when we're going to do that. Bye.